Welcome back everyone. Joining me now in the kitchen, I'm with David Oliver, celebrity cook and co-founder of Dano Seasoning. So you probably know this man right here. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, we're going to get our chicken started because I know that's got to cook before the yes. end of the show. Yes. So, so we're cooking chicken. What are we cooking? Well, I got some chicken tenders and I'm simply just going to start out with a little bit of oil. You don't have to do too much. Mm -hmm. And I got some chicken tenders. And what's awesome is I got my little holster here that's got my seasoning in Everyone it. Everyone needs one of those. Well, they do, absolutely. And you get your Danos and you just sprinkle generously. Okay. You, and you're and not going to overdo it. That's the beautiful thing about Danos. It's not packed full of salt. It's mm -hmm. real herbs and spices. So you can use a lot more than you typically get would with other flavor. seasons. Get all so the flavor. So which in one there. of your seasons did you just put on there? That's the green top. That's the original. Okay. And uh, I also have four other flavors. We have the green. The green's the original, the red's the spicy, then the chipotle, crunchy, and the new cheese meat. Okay. Oh, wow. We'll, we'll be talking more about those in just a minute because I want to know. Um, so I guess we are making blackened seasoned chicken tenders. Blackened, herb crust. You can call mm -hmm. it either one. Yeah. As long as you're putting Danos on it, it's going to be dang good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about the, your original spice. And that's where you started and just grew from there? Yeah, I started all the way back in 2001 when I was in college at the uh, University of Kentucky. Okay. I was basically just freestyle cooking, using all my herbs and spices from a little spice rack my mom had sent me to college. Oh. And I just came up with this recipe on chicken, and it was phenomenal. That already smells and so good. <laughs> I just, it stuck with me forever. I never forgot it, and I was like, anytime I went around a group of people, I was like, let me make you all this chicken. And, you know, for 15 years, I cooked with it, and then one day when I was a bartender, I brought in some, some of that chicken, gave it to a guy, he took one bite and said, it's the best chicken I ever had, why aren't you selling it? And that's when Daniels ding, was born. Ding, ding. That's when I was born. <laughs> wow, that is really neat. And you are from Louisville, so you're Louisville, a Kentucky, Kentucky guy. Yes. And we love that, especially, um, yeah, having guests that, that are from this area and that are doing things like this, you know. So now, how many places have you been? Um, because you're a professional chef, you're a celebrity chef. So where have you been around I like this to say country? I'm a cook. A cook. I'm not, a, okay. I'm not properly trained to be, call myself a chef, mm -hmm. but I cook all the time. Uh, when, I, when I started the business and got it packaged the way I wanted, that was in 2017. And for three years, I traveled the country just going from one little flea market or festival uh -huh. or state fair to another for three wow, years. Doing the footwork. And that's yeah. how I made my business survive. And then COVID hit, didn't know what I was going to do next. Yeah. Now I went to social media. And then social media blew up, made the right partnerships, right wow. business decisions, and now we're in over 30,000 grocery stores nationwide. Oh my gosh, well, congratulations, that's amazing. Thank you. And this, uh, I always say every time we have someone on cooking, I wish you could smell this, because right away, you can really smell that flavor, so it, you know it's gotta be rich. Absolutely, it's like Thanksgiving every day when you're mm -hmm. cooking with animals. It seriously is, you can, you can so versatile, it's not just for chicken, of course that's how I came up with it, mm -hmm. but you know, part of why we're so successful is the versatility of it. Yeah. You can use it to put in soups, put it on a salad, make your own Caesar salad dressing, or do, it's just so versatile, you can do anything with it. Wow, wow, so tell me some of your, your most famous dishes. Well, my most famous dishes, oh uh, man, probably my brisket is one. Mm -hmm. I do a brisket where I use the, uh, I, use, I do a double binder. I do sriracha and then chipotle danos, and I do another binder with some olive oil, and I top it with crunchy, uh -huh. and you smoke the brisket for like 12 hours, and it's the best brisket you'll ever have. See, that kind of talk sounds like chef talk to me. Right. <laughs> I'm a pretty basic <laughs> cook, but I can whip up a mean Thanksgiving meal. But yeah, all the binder, you know, talk, that, that's a chef. <laughs> so you can see when I flip this over, you can see how the, it, Ooh, some people think that's that. burnt and that's what I tell people, mm -hmm. it's not burnt, that's an herb crust. That's the beautiful thing about this not being a sugar based or salt based seasoning. Okay. It's all the real herbs and spices that you see here. So it's that lemon peel, the orange peel, the garlic, the onion, and that's what wow, I'm cooking into the food. And this is, this is not burnt, it's blackened. And or an herb crust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly though. Wow, so, yeah. that looks really good. And look how simple it is. Super easy. Yeah, three, That's why I like to show you that, how, how easy it is. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to be a chef to use Danos. See, I like to hear that. Right. All right, well, we're gonna let that continue to cook and we will be right back. Um, 
in a few minutes to do a taste test. So keep cooking. All right, we'll be right back.